DC. Ok, ok, and ok. Now, what about now? No? No. Mister, I cannot see it either. You cannot. I see it. Shania is a yes. Say yes. Uh, I prefer you answer me by the chat. No, no microphone. Entonces, eh, José Cabrera, ¿y sí o no? José, José, say something, José. Yes, I see it. Okay, coño. When it's no, you say no, 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 no. But when it's yes, you are quiet. Okay, the rest is okay. You have the switch on the, yeah, I, I, I know that. I understand that. I'm saying it's not good, but I'm thinking. No, I'm talking about the students. The students, the students have to switch their views to see the TC. Switch into what? The students have to switch their view to content view to see your whiteboard. Ah. Content view to see it. Oh, you click in view and select what? Contents? Yes, content, content view. Content view. Content view. Content view. Come on, guys. Try it, try it, try it. Yeah, officials have to be organized. You can probably leave all the official stuff for the phone. Okay. But we have to do all official stuff just to get traction. Yeah, because I was thinking more that you wanted us to do something that was formal, not formal, but like by the book. Right now. Okay. The only thing I want to say. Okay, okay, okay. 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 Any, any, any microphone off? What we're working with in a fall. Destiny. 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 Okay. Uh, does, I suppose in this moment everyone saw my web work? Yes. We yeah. start now. Let me start, start recording. No, it's, it's already recording, no? I don't know why some people press this button. Stop recording now, okay, it's recording now, okay? Don't touch any button. This is my control, not your control. Okay, now, okay. Let me try to maximize the window. Okay, aha. Uh -huh. Let me recall quickly the thing we have taught the last class. The last class, we have taught the polynomial functions. We have taught the, to find the y in a set, x in a set. And the x in a set, I explained, is the most complicated part. Because you need to solve in this equation. f of x equals zero. And this is a challenge. OK, OK. I need one problem to use solving by classical factorization. Easy. However, sometimes it's impossible doing that way, and you need to do use a synthetic division. But what is the problem? Synthetic division is strong, super strong. However, what is the problem of the synthetic division? Okay, you don't know at the beginning, 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 what value you select to perform the synthetic division. So this is the thing we study. So we have some resources. I want to explain several to uh, investigate the uh, the value in which you have to perform the scientific Okay. Because so we we have polynomial. In the example. This is the not example one. It's a it's a, a motivation example. The theoretical part. After we go to the one, two, three, a strong uh, problem. Because today, now, right now, we have to, the several resources to uh, investigate the, the number, no? Okay, you need to do cited English. Okay, to so say now, uh -huh, who helped me with this? This polynomial, what is the degree of this polynomial, right? What is the degree? Four. 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 Exactly. Four. A fork is the higher spot. Cool, cool, cool. Now we study now one theorem is called a rational zero theorem. Okay, so this theorem give me 
a potential zeros rational. Rational, the word rational indicate fraction. Fraction or, or whole number? Okay, fraction. It's something divided by something, and A and B are um, integer number. Okay, now, so now uh, the formula. The formula for the theorem I say. Guys, focus it. We start the mathematical part, and this is a little bit hard, you know? So now the formula say k is equal plus or minus p divided by iq. Who is p and who is q? This is p. p is the number k the degree s0. So x to the zero is invisible. This is p. And q is the leading coefficient. Q. But actually, according to the formula, I copy plus or minus uh, six. I copy, I copy p, but without signs. Because I consider plus or minus do, double sign. Uh, this is negative. You put negative here, one well, a fed, but it's not important. Divided by Q get two. And you no divide six divided by two three. No. No. Because you break it down every possibility. What is the possibility of six? It's plus or minus one, comma, plus or minus two, comma, plus or minus three, comma plus or minus six. How do you know that? Because when you multiply one and six, it's six. When you multiply two and three, it's six. It's a, a lot of combination of the factor. And when you multiply each other, give me six. Likewise, in the bottom, we are doing exactly the same, but it's easier to get one. This is plus or minus one and plus or minus. So basically, is the, mm, is the factorization, no? So how you find to the stage of six, uh, six and one, and two and three. And two, no, two is prime, it's two and one. Okay, okay now, if you understand that part, it's super elementary, you now create the list. What list? The list of the potential zeros of the hour uh, polynomial. Yes, look, look, let me show you what, let me explain one way to do this. You take, for example, the first number in the denominator. Uy, 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 nice. Guys, putting off the microphone, please, okay? Now, any microphone, camera on, microphone off. Ah, uh, so now you take the first one in the denominator, right? Get one. One. Divided by one is one, no? It says plus or minus one, comma, one again, but two, plus or minus two, one again, three, plus or minus three, comma, eh, eh, plus or minus six. So the thing I did was you combine the first number the denominator with this, with this, with this, and with this. When I finish this, we have another combination, no? This is one, this is two. Another combination is I take now the second number in the denominator, this one. And then is one half plus or minus one half. Where come from? This is one, this one, and two. Now two and two is one, two divided by two is one, but I have that. I don't need to copy here. Uh, 3 over 2 plus or minus 3 half. And 6 divided by 2 get 3, but I have 3 here. Therefore, I finish. I finish. So, so what is that? This is the least of the potential potential zeros, of course, rationals, integer of fraction. But the problem is, the problem is, that the theorem do not, do not, so the theorem does not, doesn't guarantee, guarantee, can you explain me? Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah, I will. Okay, okay, relax, don't pressure me. When I stop, 
Entonces, any question, yeah, I repeat some idea. Okay? Pero you, you let me try to explain. When I finish, this is the moment to ask me. Okay? The theorem doesn't guarantee the existence existences of them. Okay, this is the really frustration. Because you finish and you try one by one, not necessarily work everything. Not necessarily work everything. So it's a one, one try. It's the first try. And this example get bring now, working perfectly but not necessarily working perfectly. It's one approach to discover the number que es... Ay, 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 noise. Uh -huh. I have... Okay, I have 40 students. I don't know why. I'm so popular, maybe, no? And so now, see, yeah, yeah, yeah. Entonces, see, this is chaotic. I made the eye detecting who make a noise. Yeah, I, I, I drop. Okay, I don't want you in my class. Please stay calm, calm, relax. Okay, I can explain several times. Okay, just relax. A any microphone off and the camera on. Wow. Okay. Okay. Uh huh. Does it somebody? Uh, identification, what is your name, miss? Can you extra explanation? Kiana? Who need extra explanation? Do you understand very well everything? I need so far, so far. Huh? I need help with the fraction part. Uh -huh. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, this is extremely um, So? Uh huh. Yeah, is there a way to see what you are writing down? Like, I'm able to hear you, but I, and I can see what you're doing. But, you know, last class I wasn't able to figure out how to see what you were writing. You have to who switch views. Who is speak? Identification, what is your name? Uh, Kagan, Patty. Kagan, yes. You always ask me something, right? Yes. Uh huh. Okay, okay. I did the the thing in my way, not in your way. So you try to uh, take to my way, okay? The I would like to have this fantastic Microsoft whiteboard in the in the in the person classroom in the campus. I have every color, every picture, everything. You see or you don't see? You see? I don't. Okay, I don't just see a, the whiteboard. Oh, just a, you are in big trouble. Just a, so you don't see the whiteboard is because you have problem of the connection. And you cannot take this class online. OK. How do, how do I see the whiteboard? I don't know. Uh, somebody can explain. Go to the view in the top right. Voice content. Content view? Uh-huh. Yeah, speaker content view. You did that? Uh, yeah. I can think. you see something? Yeah, I, I, yeah, I think I can. Ah. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, I want to explain this part again, but this part is really, really, really Easy. Okay. You you have P K6. And you have Q K2. And you break it down six and the factorization. Six the factorization six is one, two, three, and six. Okay? And the factorization two is one and two. And you 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 Include always plus and minus because maybe positive or maybe negative. Remember, we are guessing. We are guessing. And now uh, that part from this to this, you understand or no? How I create this list? Or no? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, Jamie. So somebody help me. I... Okay, cool, cool, cool. 
Now, this is the piece of okay. The important part is now. I select arbitrary value and the list. Yeah, I perform the synthetic division. How? Synthetic division. This is the format for the synthetic division. I copy 2 phi minus 2 minus 11 and minus 6. Uh -huh. Now you try one by one. You say, wow, professor, this is too long and consuming time. Of course, of course. However, mm -mm -mm, I propose another idea after, but for, for a moment, you try one by one. Of course, idea home. Yeah, I know what is the answer. Because I don't want to put any number that doesn't work. How do you know the word or doesn't work? Suppose I pick negative one. Negative one. Negative one. Okay, negative one is here. Look. Negative one. I pick this. You see, but I pick another one. Not again. You pick another, but I pick with negative one. Try to follow me. So now, you perform the scientific division. See, the remainder is zero. And it does say this factor belongs to the polynomial. See, the remainder is not zero. It's another number. 40, 20, negative 3. It does say it's not zero. So you try, bring down 2 without doing anything. Multiplication, 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Combine this is 3. Exactly the same we are doing in last class. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. It's a negative 5, no? Negative 2 and negative 3 together in the column. And so now it's um, positive 5. Because negative times negative positive is negative 6. And negative 6 times negative 1 is positive 6. And 6 negative and 6 positive is 0. Oh, this is my goal. When you get the remainder 0, you can affirm that the factor of this polynomial is the factor x plus 1. Remember the factor have opposite sign to the value, and the zero is x equal to negative one. Do you understand this? Oh, sir, I have a question. Uh huh. How did you, how did you get twenty five minus two minus eleven minus six? How do you get that number? You say. Yes. How, how did you get it? Ah, explain, explain. Please pay attention one more time. Look, guys, you break it down. You understand that part? They break it down, no? Six and two, no? And you take, for example, this combination. One divided by one is one, plus or minus. One divided by two is two, plus or minus. One divided by three, no, three divided by one, sorry, plus or minus three. And one divided by x plus or minus six. So you take the first number in the denominator and you have discovered the fraction associated with the first one. And the fraction associated with the second is one divided by two, get one half, that one. And uh, three divided by two, get three half. And six divided by two, get three. But three I include it in the list. Yeah, I don't need to repeat anything in the list. Do you follow me? No. What part no? Because the other uh, has two divided by two, and that's one. Okay, basically, mister, is in this, you find all combinations of numbers. Okay, all combinations. This is the number one, two, three, four in the numerator, and one, two in the denominator. And you form it the, the different fraction. Okay, okay, I, don't know, I don't know how to explain this because it's obvious, it's elementary, it's basic. Look, let me try. At the top, you have plus or minus one, plus or minus two, plus or minus three. Guy, focus. Plus or minus six divided by. And the, how do you use it? How is don't this? Interrupt me, don't interrupt me. Don't interrupt me. What? Don't interrupt me. You ask me where I come from, from this to this, yes or no? Or you don't understand that part? I don't fully understand that part, I think. You, you understand? 
I don't understand yeah. why it's uh what what determines what's in the numerator, numerator and denominator. It's the formula. The formula oh, it's is just the formula. Look at the formula. The formula is P over Q. Who is P? It's a P and it's a Q. In our specific example, P is six. Oh, uh, okay, oh. I understand. You, the problem is that you don't pay attention in this moment. I explain that, okay? So say, please focus it. I would like, I appreciate so much that you spend one hour and 40 minutes with me, concentrate, focus it, okay? I understand that you have questions, but no, there are questions that is obvious. So you're looking, open your eyes, you understand very well. Okay, okay, okay. So say, the most important is not this. The most important is the synthetic division. Do you understand the synthetic division or no? So I pick arbitrary guy on the list. I pick, I pick negative one and work. Wow, I lie. And so I pick another, I pick another. Maybe it's possible repetition, negative one again. So see you say, professor, how do you not get negative one again? Well, at the beginning, I don't know. I spent uh, two hours doing this problem at home. However, I don't want to spend two hours now because I go directly to the to the to the number to the combination can give me a good answer. Good answer is can you have remainder zero? So you bring down two again. Two times negative one is negative two. Three minus two is one. One times negative one is negative. One and negative five and negative one and negative six and negative six times negative one is positive six. Again, we have zero remainder. So now this second synthetic division apart. Another factor is the same x plus one because it's the same negative one the value and the zero is negative one. So that the original polynomial is degree four. When you perform the first synthetic division, you reduce the degree to three. When you perform the second, now is quadratic. So degree two. And degree two, you can apply factorization or not, or you continue synthetic division. I, I prefer, well, either way, either way, either way, either way, because it's easy doing, this is, this is one, no? This is one, this is not seven, it's one. Okay. But well, in this moment, in this moment, in this moment, maybe depending my knowledge, depending my skill, you copy like that 2x squared plus x minus 6 because this is x to the 0, x to the 1, and x to the second, no? And you try to factorization this polynomial, no? Uh -huh. Let me try to do my best skill in algebra. This is multiplication, this and this is 12. And the combination will give me 12. There are several combinations, but the best combination is 4 and 3, because 4 times 3 is 12, and somehow 4 minus 3 is 1. Okay, good. So you have 2x squared plus 4x minus 3x minus 6. So you break it down, this one, using 4 and 3. Positive four and negative three. Now ready to apply factorization by grouping. Factorization by grouping is, this is the first couple, this is the second couple, and the factorization, the great common factor, and the red part is two x. And we have x plus two. And the great common factor and the blue part is minus three, is x plus two. Wow, I like that. So it's x plus two. Factorization again, what we'll factor out one more time to x minus three? Wow, so the other factor gets missing is uh, x plus two, we correspond with the zero negative two, and two x minus three, we correspond with the x equal uh, positive, 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 positive three or two, no? Because use two x minus three equals zero, so for x, linear equation, two x equal three, divided by two both sides, three half. Aha, uh -huh. this is one possibility. Another possibility is, 
continue, continue, for example, in this step, no, I don't like that part because I don't feel strong in the factorization. Okay, however, I like, depending, it's up to you, the scientific division to so say I copy, I copy two, one, and negative six. If, for example, I come back to the list, yeah, I select one arbitrary guy. Yeah, I try, try, try until I get zero remainder. And to say now is, suppose that I, of course I know the answer. In order to save time, I select the proper, okay, negative two. Look at that, negative two. Negative two. Negative two. Let's do it in the same division. Bring down two. Two times negative two and negative four. Uh-huh, and positive one and negative four and negative three. And negative three and negative two is six. Whoa, zero remainder again. So I discovered the factor X plus two. Okay, corresponding with the zero. This is factor. And this is the zero. The factor is X plus two and the zero is negative two. Exactly the same of this, look. And the other factor, the last factor, I don't finish is x0, x1, actually is 2x minus 3. Okay, when you put equal to 0, is x equal positive 3. Okay, okay, to so say now, okay, what is the final answer? Well, the final answer is the factorization of the original, original polynomial that was at the beginning, 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 2x to the 4 power, plus 5x cubic minus 2x squared minus 11x minus 6 is equal. Ah, I discovered four factor. I discovered that factor, x plus 1, twice, que es x plus 1 is square. Uh -huh, I discovered another factor here, x plus 2. I discovered another factor here gets 2x minus 3. And by the way, the zero, when I do the graph, is at the point negative 1, comma, 0, is this 0, this and this, comma, negative 2, comma, 0, is this, and 3 half positive, 1.5, comma, 0. And this is a zero of the problem. Uh, see, see, you have no question. Um, immediately, I want to show you the graph of the polynomial. You see clear the idea. Okay, guys, question. Come on. Organize. Uh, uh, nice. I had a question. Go ahead, go ahead. Um, so, so when you're doing the synthetic, doing the synthetic, synthetic division, division um, you choose negative one. Like, for example, if I were to choose a positive number, like if I were to choose one, it just wouldn't work because it wouldn't go down to zero. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. You should. You don't know. You just yeah. abstract. When okay. you perform, see the remainder, get the last part. It's no zero. It does say this doesn't work, and you continue with the other one. Okay. Uh huh. Then you say, "Well, professor, this is crazy." No, I want to explain another resource. But this is the first theorem I want to explain now. Okay, another question. This is, I like this question. This is a smart question. Um, I don't think I understand the process. Good. Applause for you. Okay, 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 okay. But don't worry, this is the first one. I want to do a lot of 3,000 problems of this to say you, you, you understand super, super well. Okay, good. Uh, no, I, I don't uh, understand it. I, you the, don't. The process. What process? I, I, that, that's what I'm trying to ask. I is that division? See, this is synthetic division. Synthetic division is the name of this. I explained last class. But no, no, I, I continue. I, the more thing we are doing today is synthetic division. We are doing three thousand synthetic division. Okay. 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 Uh, okay. Okay, well, I don't understand how you come up with x plus 1 from the first thing. Uh-huh. 
Awesome. And why uh, 11 is removed. Okay. This coefficient is 2, 5, negative 2, negative 11, and negative 6 are the original coefficients of the given polynomial, no? 2, 5, negative 2, 11, and negative 6. Yeah. This one, uh -huh. I copy this. Exactly, I explained last class. To say in the list, I select one a hypothetical factor that I want to prove that belong or no. How do we come up with the hypothetical factors? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a hypothetical. Look, potential, well, the word potential is not 100% true. A potential. And you select one arbitrary. I select negative one. I put it here. I perform the synthetic division. Yeah, I get zero remainder. When I get zero remainder, it's because negative one, so the factor x plus one, belong to the polynomial. See, the answer is not zero, no. Okay? Okay, you don't worry, this is my first example. We repeat several times this idea. Okay. And you lead up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. think I understand that, but why is 11 removed? Like, no, 11, 11, 11. 11 is not removed, 11 is not removed. Look, look, I want to explain the procedure one more time. Look, you bring down these two, look. These two, you bring down, boom, boom, without do anything. You multiply two times negative one and negative two. Yeah, I copy this negative two here. Five minus two is three. And now the process continue. You multiply three times negative one and negative three. I copy negative three, combine like turn that column and negative five. And okay. negative five, you see? Yeah. But important, 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 important. The important, important, important is when you finish the scientific division, if you get zero here, it's because the selection of the negative one was good. So you get another number gets no zero, and then to say negative one doesn't work. I try positive one or positive two or negative two or positive three or negative three or positive six or negative six. So this is the selection, the potential, can I select to perform any synthetic division? Okay, how do we select the selection? I select using my common sense. They are no rule. You select, so just arbitrary you select arbitrary, you select arbitrary, you select arbitrary, and you perform synthetic division. No zero remainder, doesn't work. Select another, no zero remainder, doesn't work. Zero remainder, yes, I got it. Okay? okay. Uh -huh. I promise you, you see another example, you understand a little bit later. Okay, okay. And this is the only resource that we have? No. We have another resource that I want to explain right now. I, I, I want to erase the whiteboard. Aha. Uh -huh. Let me explain a couple of theorem that help me to understand the zero of the polynomial functions. The first one is a fundamental theorem of algebra. Wow, it's the best theorem of algebra. So any branch of the mathematics have fundamental theorem. Fundamental theorem of calculus, fundamental theorem of algebra, fundamental theorem of arithmetic, Fundamental theorem of the linear algebra. Uh -huh. This is the different part of the mathematics have fundamental theorem. And this is easy to understand. Suppose so you have polynomial degree equal a number, four, five. This is equivalent. This is exactly the same of number of zeros in plural. Uh, include it. Include, include, repeated, and complex. Uh, for example, in the example we did before, the degree was four. However, uh, well, we discover, we discover that we have, uh, we have, we have, we have, uh, x equal negative one. 
Uh -huh. Pero repeat it. Two times. Entonces, this is called multiplicity. Multiplicity. Equal to. So when it's repeated, so how, negative one. So you are doing the list is negative one, comma, negative one. Two, ne two negative one. Repeat. But we discover negative two. And we discover positive three half. And this is logical. Because this polynomial degree is four. And according to the fundamental theorem of algebra, we have four zero. Include repetition and include complex. In this case, no complex. Everything is real. Uh -huh. one, three negative, one, two, three, and one positive. It's okay. Do you understand this? So this is for sure. Guarantee 100%. See, uh, the next problem that we're solving is degree five. We have five. Zeros. Uh -huh. Si es polinomio. Si es no polinomio, no. It's only valid for the polynomial. Do you understand this idea? Yes or no? Answer me. Um, what is uh -huh. it? I don't hear. I don't hear. Loudly. I'm clear. Come on, what, meter. What number is that over the two in the fraction? What fraction? Yeah. No, 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 no. I, I, I try to use in the last example. In the last example, I don't, I don't know if you pay attention or no. We, we discovered four zero. Negative one, negative one, negative two, and positive three half. Do you remember that or no? I remember. I'm just asking what that number is over the two. It looks like it's a three over two, but it's like a... Squiggly, I don't know what that is. I don't understand your question. It's three over two. Thank you. It's three over two, three, three over two. Ah. Yeah, yeah, I got it, got it. Okay. Guys, you know, internet, connection, microphone, is different to the face-to-face. Aha. -face. Uh -huh. Another theorem is the complex zero. Okay, sometimes we have complex zero. But the complex zero is coming always by the pairs of conjugate. Let me explain this idea. Conjugate. What mean conjugate? Suppose that we have one complex zero and one polynomial gets two plus three i. It's complex. And another complex is, is coming by pair as the conjugate is two minus three i. Always happen that situation. So if you have complex, the complex is coming by pair of conjugate. Okay, and conjugate is the same complex number, but the opposite sign in the imaginary part. Cool? Cool or no? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Excellent. This is easy. Okay, one resource, another resource that we have is this is pay attention, okay? This is easy. But I, it's complicated for me at least to explain. Okay, Descartes rule. Descartes rule. Uh, it's Descartes rule of science, because it's about the science, of science. Because it's talking about the science. So what is the idea? What is the idea? It's, it's, the easy way to explain this is put it simple. Suppose the function, polynomial function f of x equal x to the fifth power minus 6 x to the fourth power plus 12 x to the third power minus 12 x to the second power plus 11 x minus 6. Let me copy correctly, properly. 
plus 11x minus 6. Okay, what is the rule? So the proof of this rule is, is, is complicated and beyond to the scope of this class. I want to explain the rule and you accept the rule. Okay, the rule say, you try to find the number of chain design in the polynomial. So P, who is capital P? Capital P is the number of chain design. How you determine chain of sign? For example, x to the fifth power positive. Now here is negative. You see one chain of sign. One other chain of sign. No, 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 no. We, I explain another thing. Miss Norris. Guy, pay attention. Don't try. You are no teacher. Pay attention. It's another thing. Okay, okay, okay. Again, guys. Again, repetition, please focus. Don't interrupt me. Shui. P. Who is P? P is the number of change signs. I thought it was the first number. Uh huh. Uh -huh. The first number. Ah, uh, no, no, it's another P. It's a capital P. Forget about that P. It's a capital P. P positive. Okay. Okay, yes, I know it. Uh -huh. Good question, good question. No, no, no. It's no, ah, I understand you. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Focus, focus. I want to investigate now how many chain or sign have my polynomial. The first guy is positive. Now, the second is negative. So I, I include it here. One chain or sign, one. Two, three, four, and five. P is five. Because my polynomial has five chain of sign. Do you follow me? Yes. Uh -huh. Aha. Yeah. Because uh -huh. go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. According to the Descartes, Descartes discover that the number of the positive zeros, so the number of the positive zero positive zeros is equal, in this case, five, or three, or one. We're going from three and one. You're subtracting two always. So five minus two is three, and three minus two is one, and one Where minus does the two. Where po positive zeros come from? Uh -huh. Positive zero, positive zero. Positive zero is, look, meter. The thing I try to discover is, you have polynomial. Supposed to graph it like that. And this polynomial look like, like that. Yeah. Suppose. I don't know. So say, what is the positive zero? Positive zero is this and this. So this is zero, but on the positive part. And what is the negative That's zero? What is the negative zero? The, the negative zero so is How do we know that it's zero at these numbers? It's a rule. Discard the rule. Can I try to explain? And you need to understand. The, it's a rule. The exponents that are positive, that's where he's getting. Of course, yes, yes. Yeah, exactly. So the aim behavior, the aim behavior, you know, they look like, like that, no? According to the first class, uh, um, degree odd, okay, phi. But this is another thing I try to explain now. No, no, no. I try. All the exponents. Oh, okay. No, no, okay, no. You don't understand anything. Okay, okay, okay. Please listen. Just listen. Listen is open your ear but, uh, and open your brain to try to understand the explanation. Okay? Oh. Uh, you cannot take this class online. Okay. It's enough for you. Okay, so now let me repeat again the idea. Repetition, repetition, the last time repetition is. I, I, I have a polynomial. 
Y I apply one thing que es called Descartes rule. Ese rule. Entonces, now you investigate how many chains of sign we have in the polynomial. I saw the five. Because the first is x to the fifth power of the positive. The second is minus six, que es negative. And the third is 12, que es positive. Uh -huh. Entonces, we have five. Entonces, this indicate us that we have or five positive zero, or three positive zero, or one positive zero. The, maybe the thing that is confusing is where come from three and one, but it's easy. It's basically a five, five minus two, and five minus four. No? So you're subtracting even number. Five minus two is three, and five minus four is one. And um, after five minus six, a negative something, negative one, and no have no sense a negative number, only positive. Number. So you, we 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 discover that we have or five or three or one positive zero, positive zero, positive zero. I don't finish. We are in the middle of the explanation. No question. When I finish, I uh, you see the big picture, and to say you have question, no? Okay, look now. Oh oh oh. Oh, 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 now to continue, I don't finish. You make a reflection because I want to investigate the negative zero. Make a reflection. What is reflection? Reflection is you change, uh, replace X for negative X and you make reflection. A reflection is, you know, everything it contain, everything it contain a uh, odd exponent Change the sign here. And everything it contain, even exponent, like a four, like a two, or like a zero, stay the same. So it's super easy to make a reflection. This is minus x to the fifth power, minus six x to the fourth power, minus again 12 x cubed, minus 12, wow, x squared, minus 11 x, minus six. Everything is negative in this case. So when you make a reflection, the exponent even stay the same, the exponent ought not change the sign. That's, this is, this is clear, right? Now, capital M represent the chain of sign of the uh, polynomial after the reflection. And you see, wow, we have no change of sign because it's always negative. S0. That indicates us that the number of negative zeros on this polynomial is zero. So do not exist. Only we have, only we have positive zero, no negative zero. Okay, so far, question. I don't finish. I need the, the conclusion, the conclusion of the cutter. The conclusion is, look, I create a table to summarize everything. I create a table to summarize everything. In the table we have three row. The first row is the positive zeros. The second one is negative. And the third is a complex. Complex. And the and the last is total. Total. So we have not too much, but we have some combination, three combinations, I suppose. Why three combinations? Because in the in the P part, we have five three one. And the negative, mm -mm, nothing, zero, zero, zero. But I know that the degree of this polynomial is five. The total is five according to the fundamental theorem of uh, algebra. Now the complex would be zero because the sum five plus zero plus zero would be five. Three plus zero plus two is five. 
and one plus zero plus four and five. So we have three possibilities. We have five real positive. We have no zero real negative. We have complex zero and total we have five. Or we have three real zero, no real negative, two complex and five in total. Or we have one positive zero negative and four complex because remember the complex is coming by pair i'm sorry the complex they see three complex is impossible or two complex or four complex or six complex in this case no six because the degree of five i want to discover in the uh, in the next example not in this in, in in the third example in example three we we come back again to this problem i discovered that the combination of the word is this I want to prove using scientific division and uh, using everything. OK, so, so now. Let me condense in the information that we have so far. I know it's complicated. But I don't want to complicate it at the beginning when you see it first time. OK, 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 okay listen to me. Uh, uh, the first thing you should do now, we are doing three problems in the rest of the lecture in which you apply everything. We apply everything. You apply the rational yeah, zero yeah. theorema. You apply yeah, yeah. several scientific division. You apply the Carter rule. And you apply also, why not, the fundamental theorem of algebra. And we discover, and finally, we finish doing the graph of if polynomial. Okay? Uh -huh. Any questions so far? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, why? The P uh -huh. P is P five is there five. because P is the first uh, exponent. Exponent, no, right? No, 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 no. Forget about this. This P is capital. The P that we discussed before was little P. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but and the P capital is P equal P. to five because it's P. the first positive exponent, right? No, because I saw one, two, three, four, and five change of signs in this polynomial. So the okay. sign, uh -huh. capital P represent the number of chain of sign of the polynomial. Okay, guy, I talk to me. I want to. I bring one example, two example, three example, four example, five example. Okay. It's repetition. Everything, and you definitely you understand. Uh huh. Do you want to put a question on the, on the messages? I don't understand. Speak slowly to under, try to understand. Come on, come on. Who asked me? Someone what? typed a, a question. Repeat again. What happened with the question? Is no, sir, the I know that there's a, someone with a question on the comments. Try to formulate your question completely because this part that you try to explain, I don't understand. Okay, I promise you see now. Okay. There, there's a question in the comments. Is a question what? In the comments. So where people are typing, there's a big paragraph question uh -huh, uh -huh. that somebody has asked. That's asked. what the other lady was trying to explain as well. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Give me a chance to explain. Okay. Come back to the example. One, two, three, four, five example. I try to do now. And little by little, you understand. It's a no science fiction. This is mathematical. Oh, so I wanted to ask, how did, how did you have no zero, no zeros in the past the past um, problem? Because, because N, like, capital N is zero. No chain of sign. Okay, okay. Example one. In the example one, we condensing everything. OK, we apply every resource. Look. One polynomial is given. X cubic. Minus seven X squared. Plus 15 X. 
minus 9. Okay, what is the degree of this polynomial? 3. 3. 3. So when I finish that, we found 3 zeros. I don't know. See, positive, real, negative, real, or complex. But three, not four, not two, three. Okay, this is the fundamental theorem of algebra. Let me start with the rational zero theorem, que es the formula is plus or minus p divided by q. Please pay attention now. Kegan, do you hear me? Kegan. Yes. Okay, pay attention now. I am. Who's P? Who is P? P is one. P is one. Look, invisible. One. This is P. And who is Q? S9. This is Q. No, oh, sorry. This is P. Ah. This is P. This is Q. So P is the X to the zero, zero degree, and Q is the leading coefficient. PQ. So P is 9. So plus or minus 9 divided by 1. Oh, it's easy because 1, you know, 1 is 1. The combination is just plus or minus 1, plus or minus 3, and plus or minus 9, divided by plus or minus 1. Therefore, my list of the potential zero are plus or minus 1, plus or minus 3, and plus or minus 9, because it's 1 divided by 1, 3 divided by 1, 9 divided by 1. And this is the thing that I try using synthetic division. So far, everyone follow me or no? Yes. Okay, 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 okay. Now, 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 I want to apply. Doesn't matter, the order is not important. Descartes the rule. I copy my original polynomial again. X cubed minus seven X squared plus 15 X minus nine. Now we are doing the Descartes rule. Okay, remember P. P is the number of change the sign here is positive, negative. This is negative, positive. So this is positive, negative. P is three. Uh -huh. To say now, the number of zero positive is three. O is one. Okay, three minus two is one. And one minus two is negative one. So it's three and one. So we discover that our polynomial has three or one positive real zero. Okay, so the cut the rule have two parts, for the positive and for the negative. To do the negative, I make a reflection. I replace x for negative x. I only change the odd exponent, the even, no, stay the same. This is minus x cubic, minus seven x squared, Minus 15 x minus 9. Ooh, look at that. This is negative, 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 negative. No, n is 0. Therefore, the number of negative real is 0. So I discovered something. My polynomial has or 3 positive real or 1. And no uh, negative real. And the rest. Maybe it's complex. So, so I create a table to summarize the information that I have so far. The positive guys, the negative guy, real, the complex, and the total. Positive, we have two possibilities, three or one. Negative, no, zero, zero. A total degree is three. Now, there's no complex. So actually, I don't know. I need to confirm this in the scientific division, get the last part. I need to confirm it is the three positive 
no negative real and no complex, O, 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 O2 complex here. Hmm? I don't know. For the moment, I don't know. And I, I want, I feel in no. Now I try to do synthetic division. Using, of course, that value. That value. I pick in the list. I perform synthetic division and the original polynomial. Look, the original polynomial is one seven or negative seven. Sorry. 15 post and negative nine. Yeah, I pick arbitrary. Yeah, I fail or no. Of course, I know the answer. I, I pick one. Let's see what happens with this one. Please pay attention. One more time, I am doing scientific division. Bring down one. One time one is one. Minus seven plus one is minus six. Multiplication is minus six. It's nine positive. And nine times one is positive nine. Zero remaining. Wow. And when you get that, you are happy because you discovered this factor. The factor was x minus one. Okay, okay, okay. The confusing part, at least for me, is that the number that you put here is positive one. However, the factor is negative one. And do you understand why? And the zero is x equal. At least I discovered one. One factor. One factor, okay, by the way, is positive. It's positive. Uh -huh. So now we have maybe three positive or one positive. So let me try to continue. For example, I try three. Okay, no problem. Negative one. No negative one. Look, I know the answer to say in order to don't suppose can you put negative one. Suppose, suppose. But negative one have no sense because we have no negative. So according to this card, the rule, we have no negative. So everything I try here is positive, never negative. So now, suppose three. I try three. Bring down one. Multiplication is three. This is minus three. Multiplication is negative nine. Wow, I get zero remainder. Now the factor x minus three Okay, the zero is x equal three belong to the polynomial. Mm -hmm. so, uh -huh. Why is it positive one instead of negative one? And positive three instead of negative three? You try, you, you can try, but negative one have no sense because according to the Carter rule, we have no zero negative. Look, so you try negative one. So I try the positive only because in the analysis, or the Descartes, the Descartes tell me that no negative, no negative, or three or one positive. Wait, why is it non negative? Because n is zero. Okay. Uh huh. Okay, this is almost I finish because this is x, the, the remaining part is x to the zero power, x to the one power. Is, the last factor is linear, not necessary to perform one third. Synthetic division is x minus 3. Okay, by the way, is twin brother of this, no? x equal 3. Then the factorization of the our polynomial is. Let me copy, copy, copy. The original polynomial is given at the beginning, beginning, beginning was. Was x cubed minus 7 x squared plus 15 x minus 9 is equal is equal x minus one gets this factor and this factor is the same so it's x minus three squared this is the factorization and the zero r the zero r uh, in which of one using the synthetic division always use it chadria you use it always synthetic division zero the zero r uh, x equal one, multiplicity one because it's one time, and x equal three, multiplicity two. Guys, I want to explain quickly at the beginning. Just listen. 
Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay. Ready. Aha. Uh -huh. So say now I face my problem. What is given? It's given the equation of the polynomial. The equation is given. The equation is given. So say I apply first, recommend the rational zero factors. So you need them who is P, okay, nine. You determine who is Q, que es one, and you determine the combination, que this combination help me to perform in the last step, the synthetic division. Okay, now to make sure I apply the Carter rule here. The Carter rule, you copy the original polynomial and you investigate how many chain of sign we have in the polynomial. I discover that we have three. Therefore, that indicates us or indicate me that we have three or one positive real zeros. Uh, actually, it's three. Look, the combination will work perfectly is this three. And no complex. Uh -huh. Okay, no problem, no problem. Now, uh -huh, uh -huh. I have a question. Go ahead, go ahead. In the chart, what does the C stand for? Complex. 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 Remember, in the polynomial, we have three kinds of zero. Positive zero, real, negative zero, real, and complex. And everything together, give me the total. Okay, the total is exactly coincident with the degree of the polynomial. The degree is three, we have three zeros. In this case, we have three positive, no negative, and no complex. It's the, con the fantastic final conclusion. And the factorization of the our polynomial, I select, I select on this list. Of course, the positive, never the negative. I select one. I select three. I don't select nine. I end it well because it's one and three. And I obtain zero remainder. Zero remainder it means it work perfectly. Aha. Uh -huh. One more thing. One more thing. How do you find? How do you find what? All right, in, in the chat. Let me open the chat. How do you find what? Right. Here, over there. All right, the chat. How do you find the complex? Uh huh. How do you find the complex? Okay, okay, okay. The complex. You see another example, not in this, because in this example we have no complex. I promise. We have five examples. We are doing the first. Two, three, four, and five. Okay. Do you understand very well this? But I want to include one more thing: the graphic. Suppose the graphic. Let's do it by hand. I check it with the decimals. The graph look like like that. This is the graph. We have, for example, we start in x cubed, which is the positive. Uh, when the n is zero, no, no negative, no. Yeah. All right, let me see the chart. Okay, okay. Let me finish the graph. Uh, the the zero was one. Let me try to do a little bit decent. decent. This is x axis. This is y axis. We discover. One zero and one, two and three. Uh, I know also that the aim behavior look like like that. But in three, the multiplicity is two. Therefore, touch it, the, the graph, the axis. Let's touch it. Let me try to do my best. Touch it. And one no, and one cross. This is approximately. No, no good. But well, more, more or less. Right, let me try. Again, again, again. Repetition. All right. You reflect the turn. It's a rule. You reflect. In order to get the negative, you are doing the reflection. Because it's, it's completely symmetric. Or not necessarily symmetric, but 
the negative part is the reflection for the positive part. Okay, now oh, the graph look like, like that. This is touched, no cross it, and this is cross it. It's important to understand that when the multiplicity is to the graph touched, when the multiplicity is one, so one time the graph cross it. We see a task class. One more example. One more. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. No, I have a lot of. Uh, of course, guys, the homework is waiting for you. I post the homework and the in the lecture you get the roughly idea about this. However, when you are doing the homework, remember I can support you in the homework. Any question that you have, send me the clean shop. Ah, I forgot to say something. I forgot. Important, important, important. Three important. If you do you like the, the video and you do or no? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Yes. If you subscribe in my YouTube channel, you have five extra points in any written test. In any, and the fourth test is 20 points. Five and one, two, three, and four. Try to do right now. Uh -huh. But, but the notification of the you do is, is yeah, will confuse you. Okay, listen, listen. I am still confused. Confusing with that? With what? Okay. Okay, okay. Focus and explain and the thing I, I, I explain now. I posted sequentially. What is the YouTube? YouTube, 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 YouTube. I sent a last lecture, a second email with the link connected with YouTube, my YouTube channel. And you watching the, the lecture of the. This lecture gets recorded now. You watch it again. OK, guys, please. So you are absent. You lost the sequence of the, the class. OK, OK, when I finish. I create a video. Yeah, I send to you and you can watch it again two times, three times. The time you need to to understand very well. Uh huh. But this is not the thing I try to explain. The thing I try to explain is you subscribe. In my YouTube channel, you have five points extra and any written test. So the question will fly in the air and the other student is take class with me. OK, I already subscribe. Yeah, automatically you don't need to subscribe because I put a five extra point. OK, do you understand or no? Yes. OK, cool. yes. OK. Example two, let me try to do my best. 15 X cubic plus 14 X squared minus 3 X. Minus two. What is the degree of this polynomial? Three. Three. Very well. Therefore, when I finish this, we obtain three zeros. I don't know. See, it's three positive or three negative or three, com three complex is impossible because the complex coming by couple or two complex. OK, but three in total. So you apply the famous rational zero theorem. Que es plus or minus P over Q. P is two. I don't care the sign. And Q is 15. Entonces es plus or minus one and plus or minus two only. Because two is a prime number. So the only combination when you break it down is two and one. 15, no. 15 have more combination is plus or minus 1, plus or minus 3, plus or minus 5, and plus or minus 15. Everyone follow me so far? Yes. Yes. Now the least. So, the uh -huh. so the numbers chosen are just multiples of the first and last number? Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. You are right. Okay. 
Now the list of the potential zero gate we are using in the future to perform the same division is plus or minus one, plus or minus two, plus or minus one third, plus or minus two third, plus or minus two fifth, plus or minus one fifth, well, one fifth first. Doesn't matter the order, it's just a list, two fifth, and plus or minus one over 15, and plus or minus two over 15. Okay, and this is my favorite list. It contains one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Potential zero. I need to try one by one to verify if it's true or false. Using scientific division. Okay? Do you understand so far that part? Everyone understand very well where I come from this number? Need extra explanation or no? No? Say something. What was the question? No. No need. No need. No, no question. Okay. Good, good, good. It's exactly what I want to hear. Now, the Descartes. Descartes will, well. I copy the function original. 15x cubic plus 14x squared minus 3x minus 2. E, I investigate P. What is P capital? No, P it is P. P is little P is capital. P. It's amount of chain of sign. This is positive, this is positive. Stay the same. This is negative. This is negative. And this is stay the same. It's a P1. P1. You see, our pronomen only change the sign one time. Only one. Uh -huh. And one is one, because one minus two is negative one. So it have no sense. So the number of positive, positive real is one. Okay, you understand now, uh, Miss Norris? <laughs> Now, oh, reflection, reflection, reflection is easy. You replace x for negative x. When you replace x for negative x, the odd exponent change. The even exponent, no. This change, and this stays the same. Uh -huh. so using another color, maybe blue, for the negative blue. Okay, so it's capital M, it's a parameter, no? Is here is negative to positive, one change of sign, it stays the same, positive, positive, and here, it's N2. The number of negative is 2 or 0, because 2 minus 2 is 0. So, in conclusion, I know very, very well that the degree of the our polynomial three, according to the fundamental theorem of algebra, we have three zeros. I don't know. I don't know. See, we have one positive and two negative. Oh, oh, says you. I recommend that you are doing this chart: positive, negative. Complex, this thing is complex. And this is total. Total is always three in this case. But actually, we have two combinations no? because it's two zero, two zero, and the negative part, two combination. And this we have one combination, the one one. And to say one plus two is three, to say no complex is one possibility. And one plus zero plus two, two complex is three. So we have two, uh, two possibilities. The possibility one positive zero, like that, bang, two negative, bang, real, and no complex, or one positive zero, bang, no negative, like that, and two complex. And how you determine the complex, you see in this example, definitely. Okay, now what is the next step? Scientific division. We are doing scientific division. Scientific division, you see, this number in the list, but not all of them. The only 
que give me positive remainder. And how do you know do it? So, so now I copy. Look, I copy the format for the scientific division. 15, 14, minus 3, and minus 2. Yeah, I select what completely arbitrary. I know the answer. The answer is negative. Well, let me try. 15 bring down. Multiplication is negative 15. Addition is negative 1. Negative 1 times time negative 1 is positive 1. And minus 3 plus 1 is minus 2. And minus 2 times negative 1 is positive 2. And remain the same. Confirmation, confirmation, when the remainder is zero, is because the factor x plus one, remember the factor has opposite sign to the zero, que corresponde with the zero x equal minus one. Okay. Uh -huh. So now, in this moment, in this moment, I do not continue with the synthetic division because this is this is polynomial. So the, our, our rigid polynomial is degree three. When you perform synthetic division, you degree, obtain degree two. So the the remainder, the remainder of the quotient is x to the second power minus x minus two, and this is easy by factorization. It's easy by factorization, so no necessary synthetic division anymore. It's easy by factorization, and to say that you multiply this and this is 30. I don't care, the sign is not important. And you try to find the combination to open the door, que is 6 and 5. Because 6 times 5 is 30, and 6 minus 5 is 1. We have another combination, but no, que satisfy both conditions. Therefore, you copy 15x squared. Guys, this is a factorization of the intermediate algebra and color algebra. I suppose que you know that. Minus 6x plus 5x eh, minus 2. So I break it down. This using the combination of 6 and 5. Of course, negative 6 and positive 5. So you combine like term here, you come back at the beginning, que es minus 1. But no, no, I don't want to do. I apply factorization by grouping and factorization by grouping here. And the great common factor on the red part is 3x. And we have 5x minus 2. Wow, you have here 5x minus 2. Now factorization, it's a factorization by grouping, no? Minus 2, and this is 3x plus 1. Because this we have invisible. Oh, we finish. We finish. The, 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 the final answer is, the final answer is, well, no, yet. The final answer is the polynomial 15 x cubed plus 14 x squared minus 3x minus 2 is equal, is equal, the factor x plus 1 and the factor 5x minus 2 and the factor 3x plus 1. Uh -huh. This is equivalent algebraically. Uh, what about the zeros? Well, the zero are negative one, get this, look. And the zero of this of this factor is easy. It's 5x minus 2 equals 0, 5x equal to x equal to 5, comma, 2 fifth. Okay, by the way, we have in the list, look, 2 fifth. Negative one, we have in the list. But you don't know if it's positive or negative. The, the negative is, is, is the guy that work perfectly. Positive, no. Comma, 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 3x plus 1 equals 0. It's obvious that 3x is equal to negative 1 divided by 3 is negative 1 third. x is equal to minus 1 third. It's negative 1 third, que is considered also here in the list. Do you see now the big picture? Do you, do you understand the big picture now? Honestly, what part is confusing? Come on, do you understand the big picture now or not yet? Um, um uh -huh. I understand it for the most part, but when it comes to uh, this 
Descartes' rule, when uh -huh. you were applying the like the negative, I noticed before you changed everything to negative, but this time it was only a couple signs. Can you further go into depth with how uh, like the changing of the signs when it came to the, like like how you got n equals two? Like how'd you get only two change? You don't you don't you don't, you don't change everything. You change only yeah. you make a reflection, and reflection means uh, replace x for negative x. So, so when you plug in negative x inside the original polynomial, the, the exponent even stays the same sign because negative one square or to the four power is, is positive. However, the only thing that change is the other exponent. Do you see that? Look, this is the polynomial in the original. Look at that. This is 15 x to the cubic, and now I change to the negative 15. And change also here, get 3x minus, and this is positive. However, in the event case 14, it stays the same, it's positive. Do you see? Yeah, I understand. Okay, cool, cool. Another question? Okay, so we have time to do at least one more. Now, if, why do you have the discard the, the rule always? Okay. You are doing in this order. Zero, fact, zero uh, rational theorem first. Create the list. Apply the cut the rule. Okay, give me some clue. And finally, scientific division using the, the using the, the number inside the list. Okay. Uh -huh. By the way, by the way, by the way, the final answer was negative one, negative one third gets two, two negative. Look at that, this answer is, the answer is correct. One positive real zero, que es two fifth, es a positive. Two negative, que es this and this, negative, negative. Uh, and no complex, no complex in this example, no complex anymore. In the next example, yes, we have complex, but I try to do fast because you know that. Okay, example three. Pay attention. Suppose f of x equal x to the fifth power minus six x to the fourth power plus 12 x to the cube power minus 12 x to the second power plus 11x minus 6. I did before this, no? But not completely. I mean, let me try, let me try, let me try. No, 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 this is new. Okay, what is the degree of this polynomial, guys? Five. 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 So when I finish, you obtain five zero. I don't know, see, three positive, one, one negative. I don't know, no idea. Okay, so remember plus or minus PQ. P is 6, Q is 1. I like 1 because 1 is easy. So says plus or minus 1, comma plus or minus 2, comma plus or minus 3, comma plus or minus 6. The degree is the exponent. The, no, 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 no. Hello, Miss Norris. The degree is the greatest exponent. Hello. And plus or minus one. And the list is obvious. Que es plus or minus one, plus or minus two, plus or minus three, and plus or minus six. So far, everyone understand? So far, everyone is well known. Now, no, 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 Alison, Descartes. Descartes, Descartes. I copy Descartes. F of x is equal x to the fifth power, minus six x to the fourth power, plus 12 x to the give power. Pay attention, pay attention, no type of anything. Uh, minus 12 x squared. Plus 11x, just copy. 
However, I want to find B, capital B, is the number of change sign. Positive, negative, negative, positive, positive, negative, negative, positive, and positive, negative. How many change sign we have? Five, no? One, two, three, four, and five. Therefore, the number of positive, positive, zero, real is five, three, or one. Remember how you get that. Subtracting minus two minus four. So subtract the even number. Five minus two and five minus four and five minus six. But no, this doesn't work because it's negative. So say it's three and one. Like the possibility that we have is five positive real zero, three positive real zero, or only one positive real zero. Now we make a reflection. When you make a reflection, remember, only change the odd exponent. Minus x to the fifth power, minus six x to the fourth stay the same. Minus 12 x cubed is change. Uh, minus 12 x squared stay the same. Minus 11 x change. Minus six stay the same. Now, if you want to find the negative, guys, is negative, 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 negative. S zero, the fantastic conclusion, we have no negative, zero. Real negative we have in that polynomial. Any questions so far? Where's the detail that you need to clarify? No? So let's do it in the complicated part. Let's do it. Uh -huh. Jasmine Morris is equal to zero. What mean equal to zero? It's equal to zero because I detecting can the Blue polynomial never change the sign. Never change the sign. Remember, capital N indicate us the number of changes of sign of the our polynomial. Change of sign means why do you subtract it? It's a rule. It's discard the rule, Allison. Allison is a rule. Sorry, I don't know create. I just explain, and you need to memorize subtracting two. It's a rule, it's a rule, it's a rule, it's a rule. Now perform scientific division. Using the element in the list case, by the way, not too much. Oh, no, 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 sorry. Let's do in the chart of the Descartes rule. Uh, positive. Of course. That is the reason that you rewatch in the YouTube. Complex and total. Is five, three and one. And the negative is zero, no negative. And the complex is, you know, the differences because this is five, five, five. No? Five, any way, any possibility, include five zeros. This is zero, this is two, and this is four. This is the chart. Okay, set up the information about the category. Let's perform synthetic division. Now, synthetic division is one minus six, 12, minus 12, 11, and minus six. Uh-huh, entonces now I select arbitrary, I select one. One here, look. Bring down one, multiplication, one, minus five. Multiplication, minus five, seven. Multiplication, seven. This is five, positive, negative five. Multiplication is minus five is six. And six times one is six. And it's a zero remainder. Wow. Then, then, the factor x minus one belong to the polynomial. And the zero associate, the corresponding zero associate is x equal one. Okay, let's continue. Synthetic division using two. You understand why two? Because I select and that's it. 
bring down one, two, minus three, multiplication is minus six, one, multiplication is two, minus three, multiplication is minus six, zero remainder again. Now the factor x minus two belong to the polynomial is x equal to. We, we one more, a three. Three is one, a three is zero, a zero, a one, a three, and three minus three is zero. Okay, this is x minus three, is x equal three, is also factor of the our polynomial. But remember, our polynomial is degree five. So the actual is you have three positive, look, three positive, uy, 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 three positive. I suppose that the other two remainder zero is a, is a complex, is a complex. How do you find the complex? Easy, easy, easy. Because you see now the remainder part, is x to the zero, x to the one, x to the second, to so is x squared plus one. So one factor is x squared plus one, get that one, the last part, x minus one, x minus two, and x minus three. And you obtain this using synthetic division. Aha, uh -huh. and what about this guy? x squared plus one equal to zero. Solving this quadratic equation, and this is x squared equal minus one, apply square root both sides, Wow, it's x equal plus or minus i. Okay, so you list in the zero. So you list in the zero. This is the factorization of the our polynomial f of x. f of x is equal. The original polynomial is given, gets algebraically equivalent 100% with this factorization. And the zeros are 1, 2, 3. I agree intentionally. 1, 2, 3. Gets real positive. Three, no negative, no, and two complex is positive i and negative i. Do you understand very well now? Because the time is almost over, no? Do you understand very well now, guys? You don't worry too much. Because, aha, this was a good example, as, as any example I am doing. My example is always good. I am professional. Okay, aha, remember, remember, we have the lecture, and the lecture you see, wow, something weird. But after we see review before the test, and the review, we go over it again to the same thing. Okay, okay, guys, to say I love you so much. Bye bye. Uh, stay only one student uh, need to ask me some question. One student, uh, I don't remember her name. Uh, the rest of you can leave. Bye bye. Thank uh, you. Bye bye. My pleasure. Anytime. Uh, uh, let me see. Uh, Mendieta Karim. K K K K K Karim. Mendieta. Mendieta. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, stay one song, okay, song. Okay. Uh, I go to the restroom. Yeah, I get right back in a few seconds. I'll right back.
Okay, Mr. Ramirez. So, Miss Ramirez. Hello, yes. Do you hear me? Uh, I yes, the yes. camera to see your face. Cool. Yes, yes. I only see your eyes. <laughs> Come on, eyes, well. Full face. Uh, do you have the review, the syllabus? Sorry? Yeah, yeah I saw Because I sang together with this link of the guy. Uh huh. You try yeah, to uh -huh. read. You try to read careful, but I want to explain a little bit. Look, um, we have four tests. Four mm -hmm. tests, but four tests online using Alex. Are you familiar with the Alex, or, no, or you never use it? Yes, I am. Ah, perfect. So you have you are using before. You have account. Yeah, I used two semesters ago for Math 1033. Aha. Uh -huh. So now. You have account, so you have credential, username, yes. password. Uh -huh. And so the only thing that you should do is change the class code of that class. Yeah, I already added it. Like, I already, yeah, I already have your class. I bought the code because the one um, that you gave us, I'm not sure, but for me, it wasn't working yesterday. So I just bought a new code. Uh -huh. Yesterday, I know, I understand that there are some problems of the credential, so, but I fix it. I fix it. You try again. Yeah. But right. yeah, I already, I already bought it, so I can already, like, I'm already starting with the work. Okay, cool. So, uh, listen. So, so we have five, uh, final four. Four tests online and four days on paper. On paper is by email. I sent, in one moment, you don't need to do quickly. No, no, no. You have three time to do the test. And you, okay. uh, and you say, yeah, you, you are doing the test as a piece of paper, suppose. And you uh, convert this to the electronic format, PDF, something, use a scanner, or take a picture with the smartphone, I don't know, it's up to you, and you send me by email. So the, the answer I received by email, but I need to see in detail your work. Show okay. me your work. Show me your work. And that's okay. it. No more. Okay, so the homework is that like also great? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, homework is, the homework is the homework is extra credit. It's no mandatory, but it's important because okay. the test is similar. The test is similar to the homework. So you are doing the homework well. You have two advantage. Number one, you study, and number two, you have extra credit. Okay, perfect. Um, and I also I wanted to ask you: Do you do like personal tutoring or no? Yeah, 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 yeah. So I am available. At least to me, I am available. Person, my person. Friday, mm -hmm. just Friday, just Friday, from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. in the Stand Lab. Okay. okay. You can reach me any Friday, any Friday. But as you can know, Friday another day is available. Other tutor, you make appointment by email, whatever. You have fantastic stuff of tutor. Okay. No okay. excuses. Thank you. To clarify any question. Thank okay. you. My pleasure. Bye bye. Bye. See you Monday. Mm -hmm.